What's going on everybody and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this video we're opening up what I believe is the January BAM Gamer Box. Uh, so by what do I mean is these boxes have been kind of late and it's pretty early for the February box so I think this is January. Um, hopefully there's something inside that will tell us but nonetheless it doesn't really matter e anyway. Um, I don't really know what the franchises are that were featured in this box like usual. I might try to put it in the thumbnail or something like that if I remember to do that. But uh, what exactly is BAM Gamer Box? This is a monthly sub box that delivers video game related stuff to your house. Uh, not video games, but just stuff based off the franchises. Um, like I said, they have certain franchises they feature in each box. Um, this is a good service if you like video games. Um, I like retro games more than modern games. You do get a good mix of modern and retro. Uh, one thing that sets BAM apart from most sub boxes is you get an autograph in every single one of these boxes. So if you guys collect autographs, this could be a box for you for sure. Um, this box costs right around $30 to $35 a month. I think they did go up recently if I remember correctly. Um, also if you go on the BAMbox.com, they have a bunch of different types of boxes you can sign up for. They have a horror box, which I would love to try out at some point in time. They have their standard geeky box that I used to get. Uh, they got anime boxes, comic book boxes, you know, basically there's a lot of stuff out there uh, on their website. So check if you like any of the other fandoms that is not gamer related. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and let's open up this January BAM Gamer Box and let's see what we got. Um, last month we got a t-shirt. That was like one of the first times we ever got a t-shirt from this box, which was a Tron t-shirt. So that was awesome. Unfortunately, it was the wrong size, so I couldn't wear it. Um, so I'll probably just give that away or something like that. Uh, but I usually get this box for the autographs, if I'm being honest. I feel like that's almost worth the price of the box itself, because I do collect autographs. They always have this, like, black paper on the top that I guess will block the contents of the box if you don't want to see it while you're pulling it out. Throw that down to the side. We always have some packing material in here to try to keep things safe. This box was bent up pretty bad. I'll, I'll try to show that if I remember. So hopefully everything in here made it pretty, uh, made it okay. Um, so it feels like we might have a shirt in here again. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't really know what this is. I guess it's some sort of patch, but it just kind of says BAM Gamer on it. Which is fairly neat. Different. I guess it's just like a little throw-in item. Let's feel around here and see what else we, that we can find. I feel this little bag. We had a little bag like this last month that had some like arcade tokens in it. So let's open this and let's see what's in here. It's a basic little felt bag. And we have more tokens. So this might be something new that they're doing every month. Uh, so this says no cash value. But on the back it's kind of cool because it's actually got... A uh, Ninja Turtle shell. I really don't think you guys are going to be able to see that in the video. If I remember, I might try to take a picture of that and show you. But that's really cool. Uh, arcade tokens with uh, little Ninja Turtle shells on them. I'm a huge fan of the Ninja Turtles, so I will take anything Turtles related. So I'll put these back and set them to the side. Like I said, they might be doing uh, arcade tokens for the foreseeable future. I don't know. All right, so the shirt is sitting right here, so we'll pull this out and take a look at it. This shirt is like a really light blue, which is kind of different. I'll show you guys the design first. I'm really stoked if they're going to start sending t-shirts because I love getting shirts and boxes. All right, so we actually have controllers, so that's really cool, and it's got dates on them. Uh, so I guess, you know, kind of like the dates that the uh, systems came out or whatnot. Uh, so yeah, I mean the Wii uh, Numchuck, the Wii uh, controller has 2006 on it. GameCube controller has 2001. So that is really really cool. I really like that. A lot of different controller designs on there, and I like the controller. The the design is pretty simple, but that's not a terrible thing. Uh, shirt feels good. Feels like it's high quality, and uh, they actually got my size right now. So that is awesome. I did go in and change my shirt size on the website. I didn't really know we were getting a shirt, and I don't even remember ever putting a shirt size in there, to be honest with you. I don't really feel a card or anything like that, so let's go ahead. This should be the art print first. 
So I'll try to show you guys that. It might be in the wrong orientation, but I will fix it if necessary. It is in the right orientation. So we do have a uh, art print here, and I'm not entirely sure what game this is. We've got number 465 out of 2500. I'm sure you guys probably do, and I look like a dummy because I don't, but I really don't know what this is. Let me know down in the comments if you do, but we'll probably find out on the spoiler card. Alright, so up next we should have our autographs. So this is what I get the box for mostly, and uh, these autographs are Beckett certified, so that means they are 100% uh, um, legitimate. So I'll show you guys first. This might be the wrong orientation, but I'll fix it if necessary. And it is. Uh, so we have an autograph, and I don't know what this is either. Um, I don't play a ton of modern games. I have a bunch of them, and I'm going to get to them eventually. Uh, so yeah, I don't know who this is. I don't know what this autograph... The autograph looks good. It's very legible. It's large. There's our Beckett authenticity right there. So yeah, that is really, really cool. We'll go good with my other autographs, and we'll find out who this is with the paperwork. Alright, so let me see if I can pull the paperwork out of here, and then we'll check the box to make sure. There is nothing else here. That is it. But if you look at this box, I mean, you can kind of see from the side, it got dented pretty badly. But it looks like all the contents made it here safely, so that's what really matters. So let's go ahead and let's look at this paperwork so we can figure out what some of this stuff is. Uh, it says, bam, where's my pen? The pens are stuck and we have a rescue party out retrieving them. We will send them out to you as soon as we can. So I guess the pens didn't make it to them in time to ship them out with the box. Because you always get an uh, enamel pen in this box. So I guess we'll be on the lookout for that. To be honest with you, everything else in the box was great, so I'm not even really worried about that. Uh, monthly giveaway, they do monthly giveaways. I don't never sign up for this, but I should because they always give away really, really cool stuff. So you guys can take a look at that if you want to. I don't know if you scan that little uh, QR code to enter or not. Probably. Alright, so our featured celebrity. Bam featured celebrity known for The Last of Us, Insidious, and Tagged is Hannah Hayes, voice actor. So that is our uh, celebrity autograph, not only known for video games, but for movies as well. So that's really, really cool. Um, and we have, this is a much different uh, card that they sent us. That's very different than the usual card. Um, so this was January 2022. Uh, so the Artist Alley, that was League of Legends, which I've never played, so that makes perfect sense. Uh, the collector's pin that we're missing is a Zelda Ocarina of Time pin, so that's going to be awesome when it comes. I do collect enamel pins, so I do like that about this box as well. Uh, the collectible arcade tokens are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so that's really neat. So that might be something they're doing. Um, maybe that took the place of the card, which is perfectly fine with me. Uh, the shirt is video game controllers, that's what it says. And then we talked about the celebrity autograph, and it actually shows the uh, coin tokens on here, and it shows the pins that we're missing too, so you guys can, you know, pause that again and take a look at it if you want to. And then on the back, it's just kind of giving you social media information and different stuff like that. So now that we've pulled everything out of this box, let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap. Uh, when you do mystery boxes, you always want to get a little bit of extra value out compared to what you pay for it. Uh, that's always one of the ways that we rate these boxes. So starting out, shirt is amazing. We'll give it $15. I really like this shirt. I really like the Tron shirt, so I hope they keep this up. Um, autograph gets $20 easily. It could be more. Um, you know how much it costs if you get autographs out on the convention circuit. So $15 and uh, $20 is $35. Our little patch, we'll give it a dollar. So $26. Arcade tokens, let's give it $2, so we're up to uh, 38 I think I said 26 So we're at 38 and the print will give $10, so that takes our total up to $48. So if we pay less than $40 for this box, and we got $48 in value, that definitely checks that box uh, on the way I rate these boxes. The other way I rate these boxes is do I like the stuff they sent us? I collect autographs, so I'm always going to enjoy that. 
I love the shirt, love the Ninja Turtle tokens, and I'm really going to like that pin when it comes too, so that will add some more value to the box as well. So this is a good band box. I would give this one probably a B plus grade. Let me know down in the comments what you guys would rate this box. Did you like the stuff they sent us? Do you feel like this stuff was worth about $35? I would love to have a little conversation with you guys about the BAM Gamer Box. But guys, it's probably going to do it. But first, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you guys. If you know anybody who might like this kind of content, share the video. Um, I'm always looking to grow the channel a little bit. But for now, probably going to go open up some more boxes, maybe play some video games, try to enjoy the rest of my evening. Hope you do too. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later.